welcome all let us look into various sections various topics which have been covered in this course that is piping material specification this is item group fittings and this is part 3 of 10 this is online course all the lectures are recorded once total 4.5 hours of content is there and once you enroll there will be lifetime access with certificate of completion now let us see what sections we are going to cover in first section that is item group fittings we are going to understand various important parameters what are various types of fitting forged wrought cast okay then we'll look into basics of forged fittings we'll look into concept of 16.11 thickness of forged fittings similarly when we talk about wrought fittings we'll look into the basics we'll look into 16.9 clauses thickness of wrought fittings testing requirement and proof test we'll look into details of each and every item then we'll start with the details of fittings we'll look into each and every section of t elbows reducers caps pull couplings we'll look into first basic what these items are then what are the various clauses what are various things which we really need to understand when we are working on any of the pms then we'll look into the olets and special olets we'll try to cover all the sections weld olets thread olets socolets electrolets tubbing then we'll look into elbow olets clip olet nip olet and all these special olets we'll look into what these items are when we are going to use what are their application how it is represented in pms and what is their uh, use in live projects so we'll look into these we'll also look at uh, quickly what are the various manufacturing processes of uh, when we are talking about manufacturing of these fittings okay once we go through that we'll try to understand how these fittings are manufactured then we'll look into men material standards all the forged wrought and casting materials whichever we use we'll look into each and every astm standard in detail so i'm sure once we go through all these seven astms we will come to know how these astm standards need to be referred in your live projects so this is going to be very interactive session so let's see how it goes so i'm sure this is going to add some value to your knowledge so i will um, really recommend this course to all the piping engineering